Flavorful Reviews, the funniest show on the tubes. <music> Episode 89 of Flavorful Reviews. Look at that. Buns, how is? I is good. Nick, how is? Broken grammar. Okay. Rick is? <laughs> Rick is? <laughs> I am is. Oh. <laughs> To is is to not is. Anyways, we got books to review. Let's start off with Wolverine number one. This is new Marvel now. What do you think, dog? New Wolverine book. You excited? You jacked, huh? Got your tap out shirt on? Yeah, I got my tap out shirt on. I'm just like, got all those steroids. Oh, I don't know. Nice, what do nice. UFC people do? Okay, so this starts off Wolverine's like hanging out um, in a hostage situation. Yeah. I love how we for use some the term reason. hanging out. <laughs> he's just like, yo, it's just like, yo, yo goop, what up, this dude? is fine for yeah, now. He's like, what up, dude? And then the guy that got his gun, he shoots him, and Wolverine's like, I ain't dead, so go, and kills him. And he's like, yo, this kid, though. He's like, respect. And the kid's like, nah. Kills takes the alien gun. Takes the gun, shoots everyone up, runs over Wolverine in the car. That, that was, was pretty like, good. Yeah. That's amazing. That was the best part of the that's, that's literally, and Wolverine's like, damn, I misread that one. Apparently this <laughs> alien gun just takes over people. Yeah. As... They don't really explain much what it is. No. But uh, as of Wolverine number one, are you like... I mean, he's I'm not confused. Uh, yeah, I'm like... surprised he had his memory <laughs> intact. <for one>. Uh, <laughs> what? Is, what is this? The story starts really abruptly. Which is fine. And with, with, I think it can make or break a book sometimes. And in this one, it kind of like... Uh, it hinged a little bit between both. Because it just seemed like... I don't know. I don't know. How it, like I don't know. It's it's a fine beginning, but I don't know where this story came from. Like what? Yeah, exactly. I remember, well, what's the actual a, beginning? That's a fine yeah. beginning. It got there. That's a fine <laughs> something. Or but okay, but like in terms of like issue two, like I do not like care. it has it has a clear path. Know. You know where it's gonna go. It could be yeah, interesting, like, but I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, it was like, kind of funny just seeing this kid ruckus yeah. everything. Like, I guess it'd be cool if like second issue kids like shooting heroin, like taking over the underground. I'd be like, okay, maybe I'll finish reading this. But as it stands maybe right the, now, the gun or whatever is controlling these people would have moved on to a better host than a uh, yeah, no, eight-year-old child. Nothing. No one who suspects really wants the kid. Sneakers. No one suspects the kid. Um, okay, what about the art? Did you like the art? I thought art was pretty. Uh, I don't even remember much of it, so yeah, I just read it. So. Me? Serviceable is the only yeah. word I can think of. It's average. I don't. There's uh, books average. Like yeah, there's true. nothing spectacular yeah. about it. It's not the worst thing you're gonna read, yeah, but that's true. It's just so, not very interesting. It wasn't bad. I don't know if it's quite worth your money. Yeah. Uh, the, the Scotty Young variant's amazing, so maybe pick it up for that. All right. Next we have uh, Batman 18. This uh, has Batman dealing with the loss of Damian Wayne. By just like killing, by well, just, just not roughing killing, things up. He's Batman like, doesn't do that. <laughs> he just pushes people around till they're like, oh, this is my natural. Pretty awesome. Like, and he like goes to the guy. He's like, where's the next fight? As yeah. if like he's like just looking for fights. We <laughs> find it was like dog fights. Yeah. But he's like, I want to fight. Stop. But it's a nice use, <laughs> nice meta use. Yeah, of, that's true. Uh, and it focuses a lot on uh, that Harper Row that we met in issue eleven, um, and her uh, like, man, Batman needs help. Yeah. And somehow she gets a meeting with Bruce Wayne. Because, I don't know like, how that happens. Because he knows. Well, they met at that oh, yeah. party. He invited her. I yeah, I guess. But it's like, it's she just like walks into Wayne Enterprises and be like... Because of the housing yeah, situation. Uh, that's, that was like, that's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The whole book was a little ridiculous. It was a little ridiculous. Um, and then Harper was like, hey man, let me help you. I got electrical powers. Uh, I could match the eel. taser. <laughs> Electro trucker. I yeah, also have this, uh, this dog whistle. That's just convenient. Really cool. So, yeah. like, what do you guys think? Like, Harper Row, you like this character? I like this character a lot overall. Okay. I don't want to see her shoehorned into, like, Robin character. I kind of hope yeah, she does true. her own thing on that's her true. own. Just kind it of might be nice, because, like, the last time there was a girl Robin, they pretty much said, Go, no, you get to be Batgirl. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, well. So, that'd be a nice change. But at the same time, it's like, Damien just died. Yeah, it's like, and well, then you're gonna be like, yeah, should. let's push, let's shell out our next yeah. Robin. Yeah, I, I, I think she should be her own kind of thing, like yeah. still a sidekick, but her own thing. Maybe just, just a hero up. on like all her own, not necessarily part of the Bat family. Yeah, 
Because it's big enough Harper as Robo. it is. Yeah, I probably would. Talon, no. Harper <laughs> Rowe, sure. <laughs> okay, and can we talk about um, the father of Harper Rowe and okay, her brother? Eric, her family. He's it's... like he's like the most like piece of crap human I've ever seen in my life. No redeeming qualities whatsoever. Yeah. Come on, Scott Snyder, come on, what are you doing? You have so many layers and everything, <laughs> this guy, why not? Hey? This guy's like the most two-dimensional thing in the world. Hey, you want to say two-dimensional, well, look at the brother. Yeah, yeah the brother too. Well, he's got a little bit of depth, he still loves his father, but he's, he hates his father. He's got daddy issues. But that, that dad, I was like, man, like, jeez. Like, I know he's written that you're supposed to hate him, Yeah, but for a like, very specific purpose. And like, yeah. like, what? I don't see us ever seeing him again. Yeah, unless, like, like, yeah, like honestly. So he had his little part, you know, so, Harper Row situation. Now we can start getting more of her if they decide yes. they're going to do that. I was like, man, that dad, yo. <laughs> Doe, that dad. I was dad. like, no. <laughs> yeah, triple D's, dad. Uh, uh, Art Andy, was still. I, this wasn't great, Kapula. Was someone uh, else. Andy Kubert. Andy Kubert. And then somebody else. Yeah. A lot of the uh, the Batman fight scenes, which there is a lot of some very entertaining yeah. stuff. Had some very Although, good. Although there was one panel just when Batman is swooping away from yeah. Harper Row, yeah. he just like completely <laughs> flat as a board, like hanging on, like planking in midair. Like, yeah. uh, can, we, can I just say favorite. one weird thing that I yes. noticed? There was one text balloon where oh, the, the words text, yeah. were like yeah, out of alignment. Cool. Literally, like words were just cut off and just. I think that was a printing error. Yeah, Maybe at Batman. first I thought like, oh, is this supposed to be Batman like <laughs> mumbling and being angry. unsettled, yeah. like just because from the lack of sleep? That's very. And then you read the rest, and, and you're like, oh, it's like they didn't do it again. Hmm. <laughs> I think this yeah. is someone should have tabbed. I guess, and then he the fights Hulk dogs. He's like, Whoop. yeah, why are they so jacked? <laughs> that was weird. I'm there's sure a lot the of good action. Was, and then there's, there's a lot of talking. They're like sure. Bane dogs. Breaks Batman's back. He's like, oh, again. <laughs> so, hi. You don't have That's knees. so awkward. Dog's just like stretching out. It's like, eh. Dog <laughs> breaks no, his back dog, over like, another bu dog. <laughs> dog's like, do it, bro. Batman's <laughs> back over his back. He okay, okay. Him up. One dog's holding him by the neck. The other one holding him by the leg. One dog's kneeling down. Like, do it, bro. <laughs> do it. And then they both synchronously <laughs> somehow a high up. five after so i mean obviously this dogs can high five they can shake yeah. they can high five obviously this book is amazing because <laughs> we don't have much to say about it but up next we have the second installment in our amazing new series the age of ultron review age of ultron <laughs> Age of Ultron issue two. Here we are continuing. Uh, this is like a week after the other one. And I was like, what? Oh, but yeah. hey. Um, all right. So Spider Man is like, hey man, I I lived it, man. I can't. My name is Peter this, Parker. Man. For those who don't know me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like this is essentially just like a filler issue where they explain kind of what's happening, but not really. Not really. They just set up what you're going to know later. Basically, it goes from Captain America sitting in a ball to standing up. That's <laughs> yeah. all that happens in the issue. <laughs> literally it. Like, like, that's it. Okay, let me tell you the most significant plot point of this entire book. <laughs> Captain America finally has a plan. Yeah. yeah. That's literally Great. all. He yeah. hasn't told us the plan. He just has it. If anything, this confused me a little bit more because Spider-Man's like, Oh, I was sleeping, I woke up, and then I was here. But it's like, they like knew Spider-Man was yeah. there, and they wanted to go save him, and there was like a plan to go save him, but some of them didn't want to save him. So it's like, he didn't clearly wake up and then just get captured. It's because is he indoctrinated? Is yeah. he like... I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they did talk about that um, these people would give up superheroes yeah. to Ultron. Yeah. And uh, I think someone in the comments was like, oh, that's the deal they struck. That's it the wasn't, payment. It wasn't necessarily yeah. money with superheroes. Yeah. Good on you, dog. Good you on paid you. attention. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, yeah. these guys yeah. don't pay attention. Time to time. <laughs> Sometimes. There's like no dialogue in this book, though, which makes sense because it... I guess Everyone's this is how they're too gonna depressed do it. to say anything. No, but like even the beginning, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally, read first it like three page. pages, no dialogue, which is a very specific choice. Maybe it was okay, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Like this issue didn't really nothing really happens. Just, like could have been like five seconds. It's just hey, we got plan. Sick. Great. What's plan? Just that oh, last page of Captain America. That's the most significant thing that happened. You know what's gonna happen the next issue? Just pass out. <laughs> Then they survive. God, crap. Like, oh, There's man. no plan again. Okay, let's... 50 panels of people slowly shaking. Him. Okay, yeah. uh, someone else in the comments asked, uh, is this Peter Parker or is this Doc Ock? What do you think? Peter Parker. Peter Parker? Yeah, Not probably. Doc Ock, but... 
I don't... Because, like, he seems to act more like Peter Parker yeah, than... I agree. So, but that... Is any of this... This is a side universe. Well, it's, it's canon, almost like in the future. So I'd imagine Peter Parker gets his body back. Well, yeah, they make... Confirmation that Peter like Parker's coming back. Like, the trailer for this made a big deal in saying, No, this is yeah. now. So it's like... I think that's just a clever marketing ploy. <laughs> I think that's all it is. Or does that just mean that Peter Parker's gonna take over his body in, like, a week? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, issue two, uh, better than issue one? No. <laughs> no. Not even close. No. Not even close. I was pretty in on yeah, this yeah. from issue one. Now I, you know, this series of Ultron reviews kind of hinges on them being like Good. significantly yeah. better as they went. This worth one, our time. Yeah, worth anyone's time. So much. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you, if you, I'm interested in the world, so I'm gonna keep reading, um, yeah. and we'll keep talking about yeah. it. But we'll see how it goes, right? They built up of enough good stuff, I think, in the yeah, first issue. So. But that, that, it's like to do that and then drop the ball in the second one with just filler. It's like, really? Well, you can't you can't explode yeah. people's minds all the time, but Stop having Brian Michael Bandis write, like, seven books a week and maybe <laughs> one. Yeah, he yeah. is Marvel. Yeah. Anyways, well, check that out. Well, yeah, we'll have our review for three when that comes out. Maybe a Next week. week? Yeah, I don't know. Tomorrow? Weeks, we'll, see, we'll see. Now we've reached the end of our show. And uh, answer to the questions from last week. What was the question? It was, uh, <laughs> what does Ultron take his payment yeah. for uh, keeping people safe? We have uh, XYZ. Yeah, that's right, Z. He says, uh, give Not Ultron a hooker and a ham sandwich. <laughs> the old hooker ham. I know that gets Tempo me down. Old old H. Typical hooker ham. Mm -hmm. I know. This one guy commented in the morning, obviously. Alan Theos said, uh, I want a sandwich of select breakfast meats, ice cold glass of pulpy orange juice, okay. and a warranty that protects against water damage. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, clearly, safe. breakfast is on his mind. <laughs> Who wants That's pulpy good. orange juice? I like pulp. I like a little pulp. Dude. Wow, dude. Pulp <sighs> orange juice is amazing. Why don't you just drink water, buns? It's a point. Do you drink water? Instead of orange juice. Oh. Uh, Wits, <laughs> 1989. Says I would accept Bishojo statues if I was Ultron. It might unlock my softer side or his harder or, side. I was gonna make. Oh, I got it. All right. Am I right about that? Dead 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 am, I, am I right about that? All right. Breadpool 187 says uh, I'd Breadpool. give Ultron two black eyes and send him on his way. Oh, oh. So that good. That's Pecky. a tough customer. He, he, it's not skin. Can't give him black eyes. Doesn't. That's that, how good no he is at his job. Yeah. Punching people in the face. <laughs> he bruises metal. Wow, that's that's amazing. Sure. I don't want to mess with that. Um, this dude uh, said, Brent J. Keller says Ultron would certainly enjoy a roll of Canadian pennies along with a collection of Adventure Time comics. Jokes pennies, you, they don't exist. Pennies are so rare now, dog. It's like it's crazy. Uh, Prime reviews. Ultron wants Microsoft points. I think we all do, really. Yeah. Like I'm Microsoft and those indie games. Yeah. Yeah. True. How am I gonna get those blops map packs without? Yeah, okay, Tombola237, Ultron will accept Phil Collins' albums as payment because he, because who can resist Phil Collins? That's true. That's I can't. If he was here, I, how am I going to resist that? How am I gonna, like, uh, uh, Mega Dark Batman says, you guys make my day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, did it. And finally, we got uh, this guy who says, uh, Arturo Hilario. He's a funny guy. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, if, I would, if I was Ultron, I would accept LE Heroclix as safety payment, especially those sweet, sweet marquee figures. You guys play Heroclix? No? Do you play Heroclix? I sell Heroclix. Sure. I want to, but I work every time we have tournaments, which I'm like, ah, just <laughs> let me give you money to play Heroclix. And then Robin Kevin, like, no, not allowed. So, can't yes. do it. Terrible. But this week, we have a question, don't we? Nick, what You're was the question? Question. Uh, what's Captain America's great plan? You know, that's gonna oh, actually make the book make sense. Yeah. yeah. I think he's got, like, you know, rock'em, sock'em, boppers, and it's gonna, like, punch ultra. So he's going to put soft, inflatable <laughs> pillows on his hands and then punch Ultron. He's like, this is the only way, this is his only way. This weakness. is perfect! <laughs> I'm clearly not suffering from brain damage and trauma. <laughs> <laughs> He's suffering from brain damage. That's why he has. <laughs> that's that guy, why he thinks that's a good plan. I don't know yeah, if you know this, but <laughs> I have a little bit of cranial damage. Just take it easy on me. 
First one knocked me out with these Fine. soft okay. cable cushions. Okay, what's your plan, huh? What's your plan? Oh, you got no plan, so... Make some breakfast in bed. Yeah. Show I just feel like... You, you get more flies with honey. Yes. You get more flies with honey. That's still buttons. That's... Congratulations, buttons. Joke's on you, I was poisoned. No, um... So you're also... Yeah. Bad. No, I'm immune. No. I'm like... How long did that take you? <laughs> Just like vomit and diarrhea all the time That's from true. slowly Anyways, taking doses of poison. Enough about my immunity to poisons and more about you guys answering that question. Answer it. Leave an answer in the comment. We'll talk about it. Um, and we'll see you guys next week for episode 90. So close to 100. Uh, we so should do far something. from 100. We should do something for 100. Yeah. Cake? Yeah. Hey. Right. <laughs> so everyone will see you for episode 90 and on 3, 1, 2, 3. Flavorful styles.